To me, the biggest issue with green design is one that's often, I think, kind of overlooked in the conversation, which is the whole element of use. You know, how do people actually use their, their buildings? I, I work here in this office, and it's daylit by a big, huge skylight. This skylight makes it possible for me to use all of these lamps and lights that you see basically as museum pieces. I've been in this office now for you know, the better part of a year, and I literally have never turned on the lights. To me, that's a really good example of how you can, you know, the, the best way to save energy in lighting, I mean, it's great to have efficient lighting, it's great to use, um, you know, um, all the new technologies that are out there for lighting, uh, but the absolute best way to save energy for lighting is to not turn the lights on. So if you can figure out a way to design your building so that you can not turn the lights on more often, um, then you're in good shape. And that's, that's really kind of the start of it all. So this apparatus here, squeaky apparatus, is called a heliodon. And what a heliodon is, is it's a tilting table made with a bowling ball, a piece of PVC pipe on a stand, and a platform that you can tilt and the thing about it is you can tilt it to any angle, any conceivable angle. And what it's used for is for getting a very accurate model prediction of daylighting in a, in a space. And this is a scale model of a room. And you build it in such a way that you can see the interior of the room is design, is a, built according to the design at scale. And the windows are built just as they are at, a, at the scale of the, of the room. You then build this whole model completely light type using black material that doesn't let any light through. And you build a lid that's also light type and is gasketed all around so that it doesn't let any light into the model at all. So the only light now that's getting into the model is what's coming through the windows. And this is a special kind of sundial that is set up at the angle corresponding to the, um, the latitude on the earth and where, where the building is gonna be situated. And so say this building is oriented so that north is this way and this then is the east face of the building. What you do is you set the sundial up so that it points north that way. So now it's set up so that it's exactly oriented the way the building is oriented. Now what you do is you take this table and you tilt it. As you tilt it around, the shadow of the stick here on the sundial, you can arrange it to point to us any time of day, any time of year on this chart. So that means that the light that's coming into the model is the exact light you would have shining into this room on June 22nd at 10 in the morning. And then you can tilt the model in a different orientation. Now that would be at say 11 in the morning. There's a tool here, which is a type of light meter called an incident light meter. And what this does is it tells you how much light there is so right now, the amount of um, foot candles, which is a measurement of light, in the direct sun under the skylight is about 950 foot candles, or even over 1,000 foot candles in the direct sun, which is too, it's actually too bright if you're right directly under the sun. It's too much glare. Well, it's more than ideal to put it out. So now if you put this inside of the, the model, and you have it on the floor, pointing up at the ceiling. And then you tilt the model so that some light is coming in the window. You start to be able to see how much light effectively you're getting inside the room. And I'll adjust it there. Say at 10 in the morning, 
here at about 30 foot candles. And 30 foot candles is a pretty decent amount of light for reading and writing. Ideally you have between 30 and 500 foot candles as kind of comfortable range for human eyes to be able to comfortably work and read and do that kind of thing that they do. So that's what this table is for and that's what this whole process is about, is finding out very accurately. And then the, the nice thing about it is you can change the design and you can adjust things in the model to test out different window configurations, different configurations of um, sunshades and so forth to get ideal daylighting inside the room. So that's what this is all about.